Hey guys, Roshi here with Expat Audio. I just wanted to share with you some of the tools I have here in the lab. Um, some of the good ones I've bought over the years and some of the ones which are just plain terrible. Um, so let's start off. So when I talk about these tools, it's all about the hand tools, pliers and cutters and so on. So let's move some of these off and we'll go through them one by one. Uh, let's move these off. So to start off with, um, let's talk a little bit about pliers and so on. Uh, not pliers, uh, cutters. And uh, So I'm a big, big fan of... Uh, of tools by Hacko. So these two are actually designed by Hacko. So this is, you know, this is your standard, um, you know, this is your standard uh, wire cutter. Uh, CHP 170, you can find these on uh, on, on Amazon. Um, and I've actually found them to be very sharp, very good, good rubber handle for grip, um, something that is a mainstay of my, of my, uh, of my lab. Uh, these Plato ones are also available on the market and um, we'll actually start selling these on expataudio.com as well. These are imported from China but they're actually pretty good as well. I'm not quite as, as, as high end as, as the, the Plato devices, uh, Plato, Plato ones but I've, I've, I found them to be, to be sharp and reliable as well. And then this one, this one is one I get soft and fuzzy about. So this is a TP5000. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Let's see if I can get a focus over here. There we go, TP5015. Now these are actually lead trimmers. So you can actually see here, let's see if I can get it to zoom on that, is that there's actually a, uh, a, a former at the end of this. So not only does it cut, but it also forms. Now, some of you out there are going, what the heck is he talking about, this forming stuff? Let's see if I can find a resistor here that uh, to show you real quick. There we go. All right, so I want you to imagine that this resistor is coming through a PCB, you know, while you're assembling it, and typically you would um, assemble it, and then uh, let's see if I can get this to focus. All right, that's better. So, and you, you know, if, the, if it was coming down to the PCB here, I would simply take my very nice hacko cutters and snip. And the problem is, you know, I flip the PCB over to solder it, and the device falls out because there's nothing holding onto it. These trimmers, on the other hand, cut, and I'm not sure if you guys can see that, they put a little twist, they put a little bend. Come on. They put a tiny little bend in it as well. So it actually holds holds it in. So it's awesome for capacitors. You know, if you're dealing with electrolytics and so on, you need them to stay in the board rather than just fall out. Um, great for those. Really, really great for those. So those are the kind of cutters and pliers. Let's have a quick look at uh, wire strippers real quick. So I have run the gamut of wire strippers over the years. Uh, so you know, these this type. Um, are awesome if you're dealing with big cables with like, you know, like if you're dealing with something like Ethernet cables or something where you have to, you know, cut through a lot and so on. Um, they're, they're more bulky, you know, they're designed, they don't really work all that well on very, very thin wires and so on. So I like these just for, for grabbing big cables and so on. If I need to strip a USB cable to make a power cable or something, then I'll, I'll rely on these first. Now, you know, some of you have uh, dealt with these. These are the cheap sort of dollar store pound shop. Uh, uh, types. Again, you know, the AWG, which is the uh, American wire gauge, the thickness of the wires, this is really designed for your local electrician, not for an electronics lab. We tend to work with stuff that's sort of 24 to 30 AWG, so this is going to be a bit of a um, bit of a non-starter, really. What I do like about these, though, and I'm not sure if any of you really know what, 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 what this dial or this wheel is for, but it's essentially, if you have, uh, these are for American screws, if the screw is too long, you can actually put the screw through here and with a lot of force cut the screw so it's shorter so you can take a long screw and make it shorter um, and it won't mess up all the uh, the threads and so on so it's quite nice I've done it on one or two times um, it took last time I did it it took a while to get it to get the screw out of the the cutting hole but it's just something to bear in mind that having a tool like this is useful in your in your lab but Really, um, you know, I wouldn't be using it on, on some of the thin wires that we, that we tend to use. And then, so, you know, this is a, I think this was a, a Home Depot wire stripper. Now, your AWG is up at 26. That's more like it. Um, pretty good. Um, nothing really to write home about, you know. Uh, but, you know, the jewel in the crown for me, really, 
Again, this is Hacko all over again. CSP-30-1. Um, this goes all the way up to 30 AWG, so it's going to be really, really tight and uh, very, 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 you know, good, good to grip. It's kind of like a funny rubbery grip, which I really like, and just really, really easy to use. And finally, you know, um, for, some, for those of you that... Um, trying to find an example of one here. If you're making pin headers to fit onto... Sorry, if you're making... If you're crimping connectors to fit onto headers and so on, you know, this kind of... Uh, let's see if I can get an example here. So, you know, these kinds of headers. Inside these is a little crimp terminal that has to crimp onto the cable. This is easily the best tool for this. So, uh, I'll do another video in just a moment to show you this a little bit more. But essentially, you have to put the wire in and then crimp, crimp the, the, the connector around it. The, this is a... Um, oh, who makes this? Engineer uh, in Japan. Engineer PA-09. Now, this is relatively expensive, but it's way better than any other crimps I've used in the past. So, what this will do is you'll put your wire crimp in there, and it bends the crimp around the wire. So, you can make these wires really, really easily. So that's the engineer PA09, and all these are linked below. So um, you know, if you like this and any of the videos that I've put together, then head on over to uh, to uh, uh, expataudio.com, or you can uh, subscribe. The link is somewhere around here, uh, uh, and uh, come and join us. All right, thanks, guys.